really out of shape. <laughs> but since I moved into Daisy, uh, the first weekend of November, I've lost 14 pounds, so. Good morning. Today we are going to laundry and wash clothes. We're going to Walmart in Parker, Arizona to do some grocery shopping. And then we have a reservation at the Buckskin Mountain State Park. So follow us along today. I'm going to get ready and make some coffee. Ready for coffee. Laundry is a no-go. There's no washing machines available, Piglet, so we'll try the laundry mat in Parker. Those two things were not on my list. <laughs> Okay. 
<laughs> Sorry. I want to hit my arm, but I couldn't find it. <laughs> you need traffic signals in here. I used to drink this one all the time, so. And then cook with some of it, though. Okay, what else? Ready for breakfast, Piglet? Yeah? Okay. And Piglet gets her breakfast with the view of the river. Let's see what it says. I'm not in very good shape, so I don't know if I can even make it up the side of this hill because it's pretty steep going up the first little section, if I recall. Look at the view behind me. Better watch where I'm stepping because I'm notorious for tripping. Sometimes I trip because I don't pick my feet up far enough off the ground. I'm really out of shape. <laughs> but since I moved into Daisy, uh, the first weekend of November, I've lost 14 pounds. So. Now that I don't have to work anymore, hopefully I have more time to walk and get back into shape. I have many pounds more to lose. I'll get there though. And you can cheer me on and make me accountable. Yep, that was me six and a half years ago. That is not my goal. I worked out two to three hours a day to look like that. I just want to feel healthier and be more active. Pretty dogs coming up the trail. Hi guys, what are their names? Coda and Willie. Coda and Willie. And Willie. Those are good names for dogs. <laughs> oh, I'm taking you away from your mission. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for letting me film oh, them. Sure. <laughs> Oh, I think coming down the hillside is going to be a lot harder than I was going up. It might be easier on my breath, but it looks very slidey, if that's a word, you know. But you can slip on the rocks. Because there are little gravels, pebbly gravels, that I'm afraid if I step wrong. My feet will go right out from under me. Of course, when I get in better shape, that won't be much of a problem. That's much of a problem. But now, for now, I'm just a shaky old lady. But at least I'm getting my steps in. Because I'm going to pack up in just a little while and go dump my tanks and fill up with water. And then we're going to try laundry one more time. <laughs> See if I can get my laundry done. And then tomorrow I'm headed to Phoenix. And, well, actually, I'm headed to Apache Junction. Because I'm going to be staying at a harvest house called Jackass Junction. And they have a lot of animals. And I'm going to go film them and talk to them. Maybe one of them will talk back. I hope not. <laughs> okay. We'll see you down at the van. She's Daisy's way over behind those trees down there. 
So yesterday when we got here, I didn't get to film anything because I had to stay with the van. Well, the electricians fixed the power. Um, let me show you what they did. So the outlet that the cable is plugged into was kind of loose. And at first it gave me power and then it turned red and it was 80 degrees here yesterday and the sun was blasting in from the west obviously which is where my slider was facing and it was so hot in the van I thought <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to survive um, without power um, unless I just keep the fan blowing forever so anyway um, they replaced that thing and uh, it worked perfectly after that and it took probably three hours to uh, cool down the van. So anyway, I meant to go on a quick walk around the park. There's a boat out there on the river. It's very pretty here. Some canoers out there. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. They're still kind of far away. <laughs> I don't know what the name of that campground is over there, but but it's expensive. You know me, I don't do expensive. I do free and cheap. <laughs> this place was thirty dollars a night. I think I think I said thirty five before, but it's thirty. Um, Picacho Peak is where I'm going in a couple more nights, and that one was thirty five dollars. And no water. They're short and they have a water shortage there, so you have to come with your water tank full because I won't let you fill it up. I do have a dump station now, so that's good. This is the park store, and they have ice cream, <laughs> obviously, and they have some soft drinks and little gift items and things like that and they used to sell firewood oh looks like they still do so i didn't i didn't know that so i would have got some last night so here's the little nature path i was talking about and they have little signs that tell you what each thing is sweet acacia i think that's that might be the tree that smelled so good when I was in Yuma. Or, yeah, that's talking about the tree. I don't know what this is. There's no sign for it. That's pretty. And then over here, here's a prickly pear. No pears. And that's a saguaro cactus, pretty sure. Yeah. So oh. They're the coolest cactus. But the ones that have a lot of fingers on them, every time I look at one of those, I feel like it's giving me the finger. The barrel cactus. is an ironwood tree and I have a lot of ironwood trees in quartzite and Palo Verde also. Calico cactus. Wow, I didn't realize there's so many different kinds. Hedgehog cactus that is named very well. But corn chola. Chola is the one with all the little spinies on it that I took pictures of the gardens in Joshua Tree. 
And I don't know what this one is. There's no sign. It's cool though. The plants in this garden have adapted to the area's extreme conditions. They are able to survive and thrive on less than five inches of rainfall a year and temperatures from less than freezing to 130 degrees. Yes, it does get that hot. Some plants, Palo Verde and mesquite trees, have tiny leaves and deep roots to avoid drought conditions. Others, the cacti, grow tough skin and exchange spines for leaves. So, here's a little map. <clears throat> there are four distinct deserts in the southwestern United States. You are standing in the transition zone between two of these types, the Sonoran and Mojave Deserts. This garden was designed to focus on plants from both deserts, which grow here on the boundary. Okay, cool. I learned something new. Oh, here's what that cactus was. It's called the chain fruit chola. And supposedly there's a tortoise in here. It's not warm enough for him to come out yet. And then here is Desert Holly. I don't think I've seen this plant anywhere before other than here. Here's a very variegated century plant. Ooh, look how pretty the leaves are. It's kind of swooping. It's a kind of a sexy plant. Then here is honey mesquite. You can see how barky bark is. <laughs> For lack of another word, barky. It's kind of like strips of paper. And this over here must be a bunny rabbit tree. I mean, bunny rabbit cactus. See, doesn't it look like a bunny? <laughs> We missed this one. This one is an artichoke agave. It has very pretty leaves as well. I'd like to paint that. I haven't got my paints out once since I've been traveling in the van. Mainly because I was working most of the time. I just retired two weeks ago. Getting ready to go into my third week without having to work. And it's... I forget what day it is sometimes, and uh, it's a, honestly, it takes a little bit of a practice to be retired. <laughs> and sometimes, I think I still work as much trying to make YouTube videos and trying to learn how to make YouTube videos that the day is gone by the time I realize it. This is the teddy bear chola. This is the kind of cactus that was in the chola gardens in Joshua Tree. And then here is a yucca. And I don't think I mentioned anything about the yuccas in my Joshua Tree video, but Joshua Tree is a kind of yucca, type of yucca. Okay. Orange Jubilee. I don't think I've ever seen that before either. But look across the lake. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. This is one of the reasons why this is my favorite state park in Arizona. Well, Gacho Peak is pretty close, but I really like the water here. <laughs> 